Welcome. Home practice is meaningful. At home, we are the most open physically, energetically, mentally, and spiritually. And it's important so we can feel the subtleness of our practice. Home practice is the most practical too. Time-wise, energy-wise, resource-wise. We can utilize the things around the house to support us. Pillows, chairs, blanket, the walls even, a stack of books. And with online classes such as this and the many classes offered by the teachers online, your safety and your progression are well taken care of. Bless you, teachers, for doing this service to the world. So for today, let me share with you a conceptual structure of a home-based practice. It is simple. You know, move your spine in many directions. That's one. And energize the hips through asanas, which strengthen yeah, the foundation of the body. And mindful breathing. So all of this will be tackled or practice in our session today. And if this class serves you, I'd love to connect with you so I can help you grow your practice too. So we start. Yeah. <laughs> so let's rest our bodies first. Lying on your back. <sighs> Let your body relax completely down the floor. Yeah. And then feel the breath right away. Inspiring. Notice the qualities of your breath. Maybe start with the sound of your breath, the inhalation, light, like the sa, as the air passes through the walls of the nostrils and down the throat and the chest, all the way down to your hips. And the mouth suspension inside. See the image of the breath, like this radiance going bright inside your brain. And exhale completely out. Listen to the humming sound of your exhalation, like the ha. And let the brain relax and the image go slightly softer. And how's your breath? Your feeling as you inspire it, like the texture of it, the expansion of the chest and the lower cavities of your body, the abdomen, even below the belly. And when you exhale, soften the outer body and let your body sink down the floor. Relax the jaw, loosen the teeth. And the time of your breath, yeah? Let's express it. You're home. Breathe your maximum. And a mouth suspension inside, maybe two seconds, hold at the top. And exhale completely out. And don't rush it all the way down till you feel the hips close. And a mouth pause at the bottom. Keep going your breath, awareness. Now from your breath, Channelize your awareness externally, so feel your home. The energy surrounding you, that comfortable and calming space around you. The smell of your sacred place. And the floor beneath your body. And the sounds around you. you know, from my voice, 
go externally, around your house, and even outside your house. The sound of nature. Well done. Back to my voice. Just awaken the body just now. Starting with the small body parts, the fingers, toes, ankles, yeah. our legs and our arms and the shoulders. And then just move your hips. You might lightly bend your knees and then shifting your body weight from one side to the next. Beautiful. All right, give your knees a big hug. Lift the head here. Yeah, we stretch the lower back already. And lightly tucking the head to the chest, but no strain. And exhale down. Uh, gently massage the low back by circling the legs around. And I'm out side to side too. You might open the legs separately, circle them apart. And then inwards, yeah, push and pull. Yeah. All right, we're twisting next. Yeah, front leg, leg closest to me, extends forward and cross the other hip on top. Good. And then soften. But I want you to relax your body here. So like the weight of your hips sink onto the ground. You can close your eyes. You can just relax your brain. If you hit fatigues, you can look away. You can just you know, keep your gaze neutrally pointing upwards. Yeah. And here, soften. Make this mental effort to relax. Yeah? Most of the time, we want to relax, but are we actually relaxing? And when you tell your mind, come on, let go, ease, and the body follows, yeah? and breathe. If your arm is quite tight, you might yeah, ankle your arm lower. Every time you exhale, let the weight of your top hip just shift over to your bottom side. Beautiful. Now I keep rolling on your belly, so just turn downwards and with. And here, the left hip flat and the back of our body is open. And then your knee yeah, remains in front. And then just rest the head down. All right, so this now where you might feel like pressure building up to your chest. If this is difficult for your brain, for your head, yeah. use your couch pillow to support your chest. Yeah. Adjust that leg longer so you can open the hip and settle. All right. Love this position. Energetically, this asana is simple, but so powerful in you know, relaxing you know, the energetic centers located down the hips. And right away, you can feel it like the breath can easily flow through your belly, even the bottom of your belly button, the hips, the sacrum. And let the breath expand that part. In the bottom region of our spine, yeah. there we hold the um, centers of creativity, reproduction, assimilation, digestion. Yeah. So very important centers responsible for our health and our wellness. Mm. It's also good for decompressing the low back. Yes, uh, for example, if you're working from home and sitting for prolonged periods is really bad for your hips. So take time. Yeah, if you feel heavy, you know, get up and do this position, and then holding. Yeah, for me, maybe a minute or even longer than a minute. Breathing mindfully. Feel free to turn the head if you feel fatigued. You can even use the hand. Right, and from there, yeah, just fold that extended leg and circle the knee around. Yeah, you may swim that foot. Yeah. 
and then the ankle pointing and flexing that foot you know, massaging the bones of your foot and even the toes yeah well even the other leg too yeah good and then just resting that knee by bending it closer and the foot you know limp towards your backside you yeah, know feel free to adjust so the hip remains open and exhale the weight of the hips down you may gently allow that gentle sigh of release to exit through the mouth so after exhaling completely out of the nose you might be feeling some more energy left inside ah drop the jaw beautiful all right extending the leg all right we're gonna level the hips if you're working with a prop set the prop aside and the low back flattens and just the hips right, and then fold the elbows like the shape of the cactus fold it down and then loosen arms and then, then bend both knees and circle your legs around side to side crisscrossing them swimming our legs Good. from there lift one side up and let it hang and then free that side and then chain right, so by lifting the hips and sliding back what we do here is we stretch the lumbar spine we stretch the muscles of the abdomen and this prevents stagnation of the hips and the low spine good for decompressing our joints beautiful all right surrender the legs all right and when you practice at home yeah, can you feel like oh my goodness it's so open it's so comfortable yeah. and this is quite challenging to do when you practice at a studio for example where there's limited space and you can just enjoy that freedom around you all right, place your hands beside the chest. We're pressing to kneel. Right. Yeah, knees hug under our hips and then move the hips back. You might move your hips to a mild adjustment from right to left and around. Breathing in, forward the spine. Flexibility. Pillow. Right. Stay. Moving again. Inhale, shoulders over the hands. And then just separate your knees about half with distance apart. All right, tucking the toes. You spread the fingers like rays of the sun. And then push the earth away. And then stretch the side trunk. All right, you don't have to go as flat as this. Yeah. You might lightly adjust your feet forward so it's less in the low back. Most important, yeah, energize the fingers by spreading them and breathe. Yeah, so we're upside down when we breathe mindfully here. Yeah? So we powerfully send the energy from the hips to the brain. And every time you inhale, lightly push away on the exhalation, soften. All right, we're stepping. Back foot, yeah, the left foot steps up. If in the hands, for example, yeah, it doesn't make it in one go. Help with, with the hand forward. All right, and then the right heel, the yeah, angles down, yeah, and then rise to stand. Yeah, bending your left knee over the ankle yeah, and just relax the arm. All right, one more thing don't be hard on yourself. Yeah, just assume the basic shape of the position. 
Yeah, you're doing well. And then when your body opens up, and it's organic, yeah, as the body opens up, your body will just adapt, and you'll be surprised one day <laughs> you're doing it deeper but lighter. Yeah. Stay yeah, and breathe in here. We strengthen the hips already. Eyes focus to your extended hand, which is the left. The standing poses, aside from the strengthening benefit we get from them, is good for training the brain to focus. One more. Beautiful. All right. Straighten the leg. Reach high. All right. And we circle down. Bend the knee and then circle over. All right. Now we're flowing the breath now. Every time we rise, inhale. And as we settle, exhale. And stretching the joints too in the process. Yeah? All right. One more. All right. From there. And just open the right knee and roll this left hip lightly inward. All right. Place the left right forearm to your thigh and stretch your left side. Right. Side stretch. Yeah. You don't have to go flat. Uh, if this is difficult for your shoulder, this is your option. Or just rest the hand yeah, beside your hips. You'll get there. And then breathe. And then don't pour too much weight here. You know, like you can keep it stable even if your hand is just resting lightly on the thigh. All right. We're going to angle towards the right, okay? Yes, so both hands down either side of the right foot. And then square that back foot. And then like you're doing a runner's position, lunge. All right, both hands are pressing. Lift and press. And stretch behind you. Down dog. Breathe. Right, and then here we just pedal the legs and we just cycle the heels. Beautiful. All right. Leg closest to me. Yeah. Lift foot steps up. You know, between the hands, help it if you need. All right. And the back heel down. All right. But this time around, we're lifting up to the vertical. So keep tracking yeah, your front knee. And a length and height. Good. And just lace your hands behind your back. Here yeah, for a chest stretch and shoulder stretch too. All right. In here, we're extending the spine already. All right. Decompressing the desk between them and breathe the chest forward. All right. You might fold and stretch the elbows. All right. And inhale the hands over the head. On the out breath, hands to floor, and then square that back foot. All right. Your right hand, the back hand, will be the pressing hand. Push through the hand. Yeah. Step and angle. Yeah. And reach over. If this is difficult, your left foot down. And then lightly arch. All right. You're going to swim that hand down. All right. And then step behind you. Down a dog. And then just pedal the legs and walk the heels. All right. Listen. The... Right knee kneels through between the hand. Right knee. Good. Now, if the, you're still working on the flexibility, yeah, place a cushion under your right buttock. Maybe your couch pillow yeah, or folded blanket. And you may open the knee a little bit wider to make room for the hips to open forward. All right. Now, inhale. Open up the spine. Yeah, you might move the mouth sway and surrender your elbows down the floor. A hip stretch. And here, try to soften. And then with that uh, pillow supporting your hips, it's manageable yeah, to soften into our position. Yeah. Exhale the pressure out. Beautiful. All right. Rise it up, inhaling. 
right and from there yeah both legs in front of us yeah you might just slide out and then set your prop aside extending the legs and then just move the amount side to side adjustment all right so the leg closest to me yeah which is your left bends under and cross the right over it beautiful all right lift arm hugs the knee inhaling on the exhalation you're twisting away from me yeah. twist yeah. one of the essential yeah, spine mobility elements yeah. and here we massage the internal organs and the abdomen even the hips energetically we increase our digestive fire which is so helpful in increasing our energy levels too and you don't have to go so deep yeah you can even straighten your bottom leg if you wish huh? all right and we're gonna untangle so uncross and then pivoting away from the knees and to the opposite end of the mat down the dog well then you all right, from here, yeah, you may just kneel and sit or yeah, cross kneel to the front yeah, and then sit on the floor. All right, and cross the legs, yeah, either tuck to the side and lie down or bring this to a rolling motion. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, and then let your legs relax again the floor Got that. if the head is heavy you know, place a pillow under your skull to elevate your head lightly up and here I give you the silence yeah. watching your breath the sound the texture the duration and the image of your breath. Silence could be deafening, yeah? And just by meditating upon the silence. Subtleness appears. Meditating upon silence could trigger some emotional blockages to appear too. Don't prevent them. If, for example, you find yourself becoming too emotional, let your emotions drain. But always convert that emotional experience to something which is 
meaningful and purposeful for your good and the good of the many. So let me help you. So send your intention out there. This one is for your health, exhaling, breathing in. And this one is for your clarity and peace. One more. And for your success and blessings. And exhale out. Good. And awareness of my voice again. Moving our bodies again. That was beautiful, huh? All right, this time, extending arms long behind us and just cross the legs and then use one arm to stretch on that side. Good. And then changing legs and stretch the other shoulder. Good. And both sides long, like you're doing a morning waking up stretch. Well done. All right, hugging the knees again. Rubbing the low spine, yeah. side to side. Let me push and pull and circle them apart. Good. Front leg extends and we're twisting. So we're just repeating our practice from the top. Uh, this time around, I will be talking less. And I just want you to enjoy your freedom. Don't hold the thoughts, just allow them to pass in front of you. And breathe mindfully, letting the weight of your physical sink loosen. Beautiful. We are in this again. Yeah. Rolling inwards. Yeah. Belly down. Yeah. Hips open. Right leg long. You sit support if you need. Feel the roots and the chest press against the earth. Egg and round side to side. Feet maybe flick to yeah. I leave I right the leg to the toes and adjust the back and feel. Awareness of my voice again. It's the legs. Level the hips. Uh, move your spine forward like a mouth snap. Motion. This time, let's ride with the forearms crossing over the head. And you circle those joints around. Notice how the body is open so deeply inside. 
Yeah, and then lifting one side up, let it hang, slide back and up. And crest across the legs. Yeah, swimming them. And the toes and the ankles. And then extending the behind. Adjust it slightly forward. Hang up. Knees hug together. And then set your hips back. Breathing in this time. Yeah, rest the arms towards the back. Yeah. Now, as you shift the body to the front, separate the knees, activate the bones of the hands and the toes, and lift and stretch back down with up. Good. If the first time <laughs> you, you can't straighten your joints now, can you feel how open your body has become? All right, stepping up, back foot, right foot through, and the left heel down, open. Second one, yeah, yeah, reaching, find a way, and eyes to your right hand side, and steady again. And breathe. Yeah. Yoga asana should never be intimidating. Well, And that's also one realizations. You know, I want you to yeah, remember. Yeah. Our bodies are different from one another. Yeah. But if it feels good, that means they're doing right. All right. Challenge, yeah, it's good. Pain, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, so there should be a level of challenge. It could be a physical challenge or it could be a mental challenge such as this. It's a combination actually. Like your mind starts to vibrate. Yeah, but you wanna hold it because the challenge is there. Good. And let's flow. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend. I right, keep coming. Breathing in, breathing out. Yeah, feel free to circle the arms freely. Mandalas is one, circular motions, like we, we, make, we mimic the you know, inherent flow of the energy. Yeah, concentric, circular. So one more. All right, opening the lift knee. Now roll the right, hip in, or right thigh in, inwardly. Place the forearm to your thigh and stretch your side drum. Yeah. If the flexibility is present, you might place your hand closer to the floor. And lightly arch and loosen, go flat and inward. But for most of us, this will suffice. And to modify here, yeah? and don't collapse your bottom side. You're still strong. 
Yeah, the foot now both hands and either side of the left foot and square that back foot. Open up, all right, both hands are down and step behind you down with dog and stretch the body long. All right, leg closest to me, right knee or right foot, <laughs> steps up, yeah, and then the heel down. All right, and lifting up to the vertical, yeah, first warrior position, side body long and staying. All right, lay your hands behind you. Yeah. Elbows soften, exhale, inhale, straighten and open the chest. Exhale, soften, inhale, open. Good. Rise the arms again. Right, both hands down to floor in front and then square the back foot. Left hand will be the pressing hand. Yep. Rainbow the arm over. Yeah, we're not holding this long and swim the hand down. Down with dog. All right. Left leg, back leg, rise up. And then, 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 and stretch the knee. Yeah. We're kneeling. <laughs> that knee through to the front. Yeah. And the right hip remains open. All right. Lace that block again, or the prop. And the hips. Inhale, open up. And then exhale, surrender down. Let the pressure of the body relax. Adjusting your front knee wider if you need, or you can move your weight towards your cushion. And staying here. If the neck feels heavy, tucking them, you may move your spine lightly away from the floor. Breathe. Right, and rise. Release the weight in front. Yeah. Adjusting, mild adjustment, massaging the buttocks. Right. right knee bends. Cross the left over it. Yeah. Yeah. Inhale, lifting the right side up, hugging the knee, and then twist around the back. Limping the hands, just relaxing your shoulders, but keep your spine alert and tall. And if you find for yourself, for example, holding the position and your breath becomes too tense, it means yeah. The position might be too intense for you. Yeah, modify it. You know, bottom leg. Yeah. You might relax that leg forward, and then maybe, yeah, make your twist milder yeah, by loosening your grip a little bit. All right, free your twist. Circle away from the knees to the right hand side again. And down the facing dog. Well done. Uh, this time, yeah, we're stepping outside of our hands. Yeah, you might just step half but wide, and then sit as deep as your low back feels like. All right, again, if this is heavy, yeah, prop, maybe um, folded blanket, so the heels are elevated, and you're still able to sit lightly down. Oh, yeah. Timber, yoga blocks, if you have yeah, a pair at home, sitting, uh, squat position. Yeah. But yeah, it's not a comfortable sitting position, actually, this one. And that's the essence of this. Yeah. It's deep. Yeah. This is a challenge present. And an exhale. Feel free to stay here for maybe five or even ten breaths or try to press with the hands. Strength, definitely. 
pressing through them but this is doable this is accessible yeah, for most of us I'll give you the progression press with the hands shift the weight there and then lift the heels yeah so you might just be here and then to release soften and then try again all right to advance push through them inhale as you shift all right and lighten your feet and then uh, try to breathe normally uh, soften the head uh, all right inhale feel light and exhale heels down beautiful all right hands forward and then stretch down the dog pedal the legs yep Feeling accomplished. Yeah. And probably you've done ninety percent of the postures. That last difficult one. You'll get there. All right. Forward the knees. And sitting our hips down. Relax. Good. Pillow to support your head and blanket to keep your body warm. And where can you have all this easily accessible? Yeah, home. Yeah, rest. feeling accomplished you're happy yeah. we've done our bodies a huge favor for health our openness hopefully your mind is clear your senses sharper yeah. and you're happy Enjoy the rest of your relaxation. And thank you for joining me. Keep in touch. Namaste.